Good morning, guys. Sir, I'm not able to rename myself. Uh, no need of that. You just uh, you can put down your division and uh, division underscore roll number in chat box. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir, so let's let's wait for two more minutes. Then we will start the session. Meanwhile, uh, you can note down the problem. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Okay, so uh, let us begin with the problem, which is based on the theory of fifth module that is ICR. Okay. So using the concept, using the concept of uh, ICR, instantaneous center of rotation, we are going to solve this particular problem. So I give you five minutes to note it down and initiate the solution okay then we will solve it together afterwards take five minutes to note it down Chama. <laughs> Twenty minutes. One or two million will get props. By Mercedes. Mercedes dominating the Mercedes. Mercedes.
okay so uh, let us try to solve it i'm reading the example for you in a crank and connecting rod mechanism the length of the crank is 0.3 meter so this crank o a it is a crank okay its length is given to be 0.3 meter so better we write down all the uh, given data here okay so what is given to us given okay we will write down that uh, length o a length o a is equal to 0.3 meter it is a given data then length of connecting rod 1.2 meter so connecting rod you can see is shown as a b a b is connecting rod so i will write down the information here a b a b is 1.2 meter the crank is uh, rotating the crank is rotating at 180 rpm clockwise okay so you can see that uh, speed of crank speed of crank is 180 rpm in one minute it is making 180 revolutions okay 180 revolutions per minute okay so uh, you can show it like this angular velocity n o a suffix o a is used for the crank okay so it is given as 180 rpm 180 rpm okay but generally what we do instead of using the rpm we use the radian per second okay so how to convert rpm into radian per second that we have the formula for the two. yes omega you are converting n into omega angular velocity omega of o a is equal to the relation between n and omega is that omega is equal to 2 pi n okay 2 pi n upon 60 so if you multiply rpm with 2 pi upon 60 it will convert it into radian per second okay so tell me how much you are getting 2 pi upon 60 multiplied by 180 means 6 pi the value will be equal to Uh, what is the value? Zero point one two five. Zero point one two five. It should not uh, happen like this. One eighty you put here. In one. Pi, How much? Five. Six pi. Six pi. Yes. So what is the value of six pi? Okay, we will 18. keep eighteen point eight four. Yes. Yes, correct. Eighteen point eight four. And unit which you get is radian per second. Okay, so generally we use the omega uh, to calculate the velocity. Like we have the formula that velocity is equal to radius multiplied by angular velocity. Okay, so RPM is not in picture or not in direct picture. It is indirectly over there. Next uh, information given is the crank is making an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal. 
so it is shown here that with horizontal crank makes an angle of 45 degree it is given here find out first locate the icr of the above mechanism as shown and show its position so we have to find out where is the icr you know icr is a point about which a particular body or particular link rotates okay so as per your syllabus uh, this mechanism has two link one is crank and one is connecting rod so crank is rotating about some icr and connecting rod is also rotating about some icr so we have to find out them okay so that is your first uh, task next is the find the angular velocity omega of connecting rod connecting rod is ab so it is asking us it is asking us to find to find angular velocity of link ab ab is the connecting rod okay ये हमें फाइंड आउट करना है एंड फाइंड द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द पिस्टन सो पिस्टन इज हियर सो यू कैन से दैट वट एवर इज द वेलोसिटी ऑफ पॉइंट बी इज द वेलोसिटी ऑफ पिस्टन सो आई विल राइट डाउन आई हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वेलोसिटी ऑफ पॉइंट बी ओके so with this much information and using the concept of icr we are going to solve this problem okay and what will be useful there only one formula that is velocity is equal to radius multiplied by omega okay so uh, to start the solution first we will draw the diagram as it is okay so i am drawing it here there is a center line then somewhere here there is point point o then a crank is there which is connected here and to the another point of the crank okay one end of the connecting rod is connected here so say it is o a here is your connecting rod which is connected to the piston okay o a and this point is point b okay it is the mechanism now this link oa is turning link oa is turning about point o at 1 180 rpm 180 revolutions per minute and o link oa is making an angle is making an angle with horizontal equal to 45 degree okay then any other information what else is given that this angle is alpha okay alpha is there and length of crank and connecting rod we have written down got it is it fine this diagram yes sir okay now see if we want to find out these quantities and if we want to find out uh, we want to 
use if we want to use this formula velocity is equal to radius multiplied by angular velocity so here you know that r is there that is the radius of the point okay and in order to find in order to find out the radius you must know the center center point about which a particular link link o a is rotating so can anyone say me that what is the center of rotation of link o a ये जो लिंक है लिंक ओ ए इसका सेंटर ऑफ रोटेशन कहा है इट इज द लिंक इज मूविंग अबाउट विच पॉइंट पॉइंट ओ पॉइंट ओ करेक्ट सो आई कैन राइट डाउन दैट फॉर लिंक ओ ए फॉर लिंक ओ ए पॉइंट ओ इज द आई सी आर पॉइंट ओ इज द आई सी आर okay once you know the center of rotation now i will write down uh, the fo formula to calculate the velocity of point a velocity of point a is equal to okay okay so what is the radius of point a point a ka radius कितना है ओ ए ओ ए इज द रेडियस ओ ए मल्टीप्लाइड बाय एंगुलर वेलोसिटी एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ऑफ विच लिंक कौन सा लिंक का एंगुलर वेलोसिटी लेना है एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ऑफ ए बी कनेक्टिंग रॉड या फिर एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ऑफ क्रैंक ओ ए सर ओ ए इट इज ओ ए बिकॉज रेडियस यू हैव कंसिडर्ड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू पॉइंट ओ वी आर अज्यूमिंग देखो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट वी आर अज्यूमिंग दैट पॉइंट ए इज ऑन क्रैंक क्रैंक पे है एक्चुअल में क्या है पॉइंट ए इज प्रेजेंट ऑन बोथ द लिंक्स ए ऑन लिंक ओ ए एज वेल एज ऑन लिंक ए बी because it is a common point for both okay but as we know the angular velocity of crank as we know the angular velocity of crank oa i am uh, in a better position to assume point a on crank a oa because i will they get direct result if suppose i consider point a to be on link ab so first of all i will have to find out where is the icr of link ab agar humko jab icr milega then uh, from that point to point a ka distance will be your radius multiplied multiplied by angular velocity of link ab it will give you the same answer okay so let us proceed with this and find out velocity of point a what is the value of oa 0.3 meter 0.3 meter multiplied by angular velocity of oa that is 18.84 what is the answer 5.652 it is radian per sorry not radian per second it is linear velocity not the angular velocity meters per second yes it is okay so it is meter per second so one point we have calculated next uh, what we have to solve that we have to find out the icrs 
locate the icr of the above mechanism okay so as i told you that there are two link one is crank and another is ab crank icr we know that point o is the icr of the crank then where is the icr of link ab link ab ka icr kahan hai and how to find out perpendicular uh... correct perpendicular to okay so just uh, for revision i am taking you back yes here in this particular example i uh, show shown you that if you know say it is a link it is one link and if you know the velocity the direction direction of velocity of any two points on that link so here b and c are the two points on this link uh, of which we know the direction that in which direction they are moving if we know the direction of two points on the link we can find out where is the icr by drawing the perpendicular to the direction of velocity so same concept we we are going to use in order to locate the icr of the connecting rod okay let us see how we can do that uh, please mute yourself who is there okay so which two points are there on the connecting rod point a and point b if in somehow we know that in in which in which direction point b is moving and in which direction point a is moving i can locate the icr icr for link ab link ab okay so as uh, the mechanism is like that the mechanism is like that the point b is confined to move in this straight path only the piston will slide in, in inside the cylinder so you can say that point b is moving in horizontal direction point b is moving in horizontal direction definitely okay so i know the direction of velocity of point b okay it is the direction of velocity of point b okay and i know that if i have to search the radius for point b the radius or center for point b must be perpendicular to the direction of velocity so i will draw a perpendicular i will draw a perpendicular uh, to the direction of velocity like this so this line you can also draw it downward downward also no problem because you don't know exactly where is your icr either it is upward or downward okay so i hope that you understand this construction of this line similarly do i know the direction in which point a is moving okay so see point a is on link oa okay and you know that the direction of velocity is perpendicular to radius so what is the radius for point a if we assume that point a 
is on crank OA. So radius for point A is OA. Okay. So velocity of point A, velocity of point A ka direction, it must be perpendicular to OA is the radius. Okay. You know that velocity is perpendicular to radius. Okay. So I will show the direction of point A ka velocity perpendicular. Perpendicular to what? Perpendicular to its radius OA. It is the direction of velocity of point A. Okay. Similarly, if we consider point A to be on connecting rod, Abhi, this direction we have decided by considering point A to be on crank. But point A can also be considered to be on connecting rod because it is a common point for both. Okay. So whichever is the ICR of connecting rod, okay. Its radius point A ka radius will be perpendicular to this predefined velocity. Okay. So you will say that if I want to find out the ICR of AB, I have to draw a perpendicular to the velocity, perpendicular to the velocity direction. And wh wherever this perpendicular will meet another line from point B, that will be my ICR, I point. I point for the connecting rod AB. Are you getting this construction? Uh, yes or no? Yes, sir. See, if you want to find out I ICR for any link from the direction of velocities, of any two points. Okay, this is the way. So fortunately, we are knowing that in which direction point B is moving, in which direction point A is moving. Okay, so by knowing these directions and drawing perpendiculars to them, we located the ICR for connecting rod AB. Okay, so for link AB, I will say, I is the ICR. Once you have located the ICR, rest is only the calculations. Okay, so what, what you will need in calculations, you need radiuses, radii of various points. So you need to calculate what is the distance AB, I, sorry, IB, and what is the distance IA from this diagram, from this diagram, uh, you calculate mm -hmm. what is IA equal to, what is IB equal to? Sir? Huh. Yes. Sir, the two, the two triangles are isosceles triangle. Uh, yes. Uh, so now, I don't know whether it is isosceles triangle or not. Okay. But now, it, the further calculations will check your trigonometry skills that how much trigonometry you know okay so uh, cos function sine function sine rule cosine rule using all those you can find out the values of ia and ib so in order to apply the sine rule you need to know the various angles okay so see how it can be done. This is 45 degree. This angle is alpha. Okay. We know the length AB. Length AB is 1.2A. And OA. OA is given as 0.3. OA is given as 0.3. So using sine rule, 
using sign rule can we find out the alpha what sign rule says i think you are using the sign rule in uh, lamy's theorem also in statistics statics okay so this side is given and angle opposite to this side is also given similarly this side oa is given and opposite angle you have to find out so by sign rule what you can write okay by sign rule uh, you can write 1.2 it is the side of the triangle upon sine of 45 uh, correct me if i am wrong 1.2 upon sine of 45 similarly 0.3 upon sine alpha 0.3 upon sin alpha correct it will give alpha equal to batao kitna aaya alpha Sir, yes. doubt परपेंडिकुलर ऑफ you read it direction okay Di direction of velocity of point a is perpendicular to the radius oa so so to find the direction of velocity first we need to take perpendicular with radius right yes yes correct then we have to take perpendicular of with the velocity direction to find the point r I I yes yes correct okay understood okay so, so point A can be considered anywhere right on this no, anywhere means where you can consider A to be on crank or uh, on the crank or or to be on connecting rod okay 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 sir yes yes because it is a common point for both. So, what value of alpha you are getting? Zero point one seven seven. Zero point. No, sir. It's the sine alpha is equal to zero point one six, and uh -huh. then the alpha will be ten point one eight. Ten point one eight, right? Ten point one eight degree. Yeah. So, alpha value you know from uh, let us give different name to the angles. Say. This angle is beta. Uh, this angle is theta. This one is gamma. Okay, and this one also. Some. What is remaining? Alpha, beta, theta, gamma, phi. Okay. So now you can calculate phi. You know that. the sum of angles internal angles of a triangle is equal to is equal to 180 degree right so i will write down another equation to calculate phi phi is equal to 180 minus minus 45 minus alpha Tell me how much is the value of phi? Sir, it's one twenty four point eight two. One twenty four point eight two. Okay. Then 
I, I will because all these angles will need for the calculations of unknown angles. And from these unknown angles, then we can go for calculations of radii, radii IA and IB. So next we will calculate after phi, we can calculate beta. You know that this horizontal direction and this, this is perpendicular to that. So alpha plus beta must be 90. Alpha plus beta must be 90. So beta can be calculated. Beta will be equal to, beta will be equal to 90 degree, 90 degrees minus alpha, minus alpha. Alpha plus beta is 90 degree because this, this, this line is drawn perpendicular to the velocity direction, which is horizontal. How much 90 minus alpha? Sir, it's 79. 79.82. 82. 82. 82. 82, yes. So after beta, you can also find out gamma. See, this triangle. Triangle O, B, I. This triangle. So this angle is 45. This angle is total is 90 degree. It is 90, it is 45. So gamma must be 45 uh, from triangle O, B, I. So I can write down from uh, triangle O, B, I, I can write down gamma to be equal to 45 degrees. Okay, geometry. So gamma is known, beta is known, and theta can uh, be found using the fact that summation of internal angles of a triangle is equal to 180. So find out the theta by subtracting gamma and beta from 180. Okay, so theta will be equal to 180 minus minus gamma minus beta how much 90. it is 90 degrees yes uh, 90 how 180 minus gamma no, sir. Gamma is 45 55.18. 55.18, sir. Yes, yes. 55.18 degrees. Okay. So, after calculations of angles, now see how you can calculate I B radius and I A radius. These two radii. So, again, you can use the sign rule here. Okay, this side is known to us 1.2 divided by sine gamma. 1.2 divided by sine gamma will be equal to IB upon sine theta will be equal to IA upon sine beta. Okay, so again by sine rule, I can write down by sine rule again. Okay, I will write down 1.2 upon sine gamma. 1.2 upon sine gamma is equal to here IB upon sine theta. IB upon sine theta. And Next ratio will be I A uh, I A upon sine beta. Okay. 
So I think all the angles we calculated first, they are known. You just need to find out the IB and IE. These are the radii, okay? You do the calculations and tell me the values of IB and IA. IB is equals to 1.39. Yes. Sir. IB is equal to 1.39 meter and IA. Sir, I am getting I as 1.67. Okay. So that seems correct. 1.66 or 1.67 uh, and 1.39. So you have calculated the radiuses, radii. You now you use only one formula. What is that formula that? Velocity is equal to radius multiplied by angular velocity to know the unknown. What we have to find out? We have to find out angular velocity of link AB. Okay. And velocity of point B. Velocity of point B represents the velocity of piston because point B is on piston. Okay, so let us first find out the angular velocity of link a, a B. Okay, so as per formula, as per formula, let us consider, let us consider point A, let us consider point A to be on link AB. Okay, we can uh, fairly consider this. We can assume this. And our assumption is not wrong because A point A is the common point. Point A is common point for link OA and link a b okay so if we consider it on link a b i will write down the formula for velocity of point a as what is the radius of point a if you consider it to be on link a b so radius of point a uh, is the distance is the distance of point A from the ICR of link AB. Deco omni point A ko link AB pe consider kye. So link AB pe consider kya to link AB ka ICR hi abhi picture me rahega. I. Not the ICR of link OA. If we consider that point A is on link O A. So, tab hume point A ka distance lena hai from point O. Okay. But we have clearly mentioned that we are considering point A to be on link A B. So, which ICR will be applicable? I. I is the ICR for link A B. So, I will find out the distance of point A from center of rotation. So, that is I A multiplied by angular velocity. Angular velocity of which link? 
लिंक ए बी क्योंकि हमने पॉइंट ए को लिंक ए बी पे कंसीडर किए सो हियर आई विल राइट डाउट एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ऑफ लिंक ए बी अगर सी इफ आई आई विल कंसीडर इट दैट पॉइंट ए इज लिंक ऑन लिंक ओ ए विच इज ट्रू विच इज ट्रू सो हाउ आई विल राइट डाउन द वेलोसिटी ऑफ पॉइंट ए का फार्मूला ओ ए इन टू एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ऑफ लिंक ओ ए लाइक दिस बोथ आर करेक्ट ओके सो वट वी नो हियर यू यू कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन दिस पार्ट आई ए वी जस्ट कैलकुलेटेड हियर वेलोसिटी ऑफ पॉइंट ए इज नोन टू अस हमने उसको भी फाइंड आउट किया है सी वेलोसिटी ऑफ पॉइंट ए इट इज मूविंग यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मूला ओके यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ऑफ ए बी सो आई विल गो फॉर दैट एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ऑफ ए बी इट विल बी इक्वल टू वेलोसिटी ऑफ पॉइंट ए अपॉन आई ए अंडरस्टूड आप देखो ओ ए इज वन लिंक इट इट इज रोटेटिंग विथ सम ओमेगा वी कैलकुलेटेड दैट ओमेगा एटीन पॉइंट एट फोर रेडियन पर सेकेंड सिमिलरली लिंक ए बी इज ऑल्सो टर्निंग लिंक ए बी एट दिस पर्टिकुलर मोमेंट ओके एट दिस पर्टिकुलर मोमेंट वेन एंगल इज फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री एट दैट टाइम ऑल्सो लिंक ए बी इज ऑल्सो टर्निंग रोटेटिंग अबाउट सम पॉइंट एंड दैट पॉइंट इज नथिंग बट आई सी आर ओके दिस पॉइंट आई सी आर विल चेंज वेन द एंगल विल एंगल ऑफ ओ ए विल ऑल्सो चेंज वेन दिस एंगल विल बिकम से सिक्सटी डिग्री then you okay. will see that the point a has been somewhere else now it is somewhere else as compared to previous one it has changed the position so uh, there are two uh, bodies and hence they are like uh, angular velocity is different yes 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 obviously what will happen dekho uh, when this crank when this crank will come here at this horizontal position so piston will move somewhere here okay and when the crank will start rotating in this direction the piston will again move backward so during this what happen sometimes the angular velocity of connecting rod may become zero also because it has to change the direction okay okay yeah yeah sir i got it thank you sir yes so angular velocity may not be constant all the time okay it may be constant when like crank so it may happen that this cr crank is rotating at constant rpm it may happen but angular velocity of connecting rod uh, very difficult that it will remain constant it will always fluctuate moment to moment okay so by using this formula i am calculating angular velocity of link ab kitna aa raha hai batao ye sir it's 3.38 it's 3.3 radian per second so i think it is the answers to be found so highlight your answer 
नेक्स्ट इज वी हैव टू फाइंड वेलोसिटी ऑफ पिस्टन वी बी ओके सो वी कैन फेयरली अज्यूम दैट पॉइंट बी पॉइंट बी इज ऑन लिंक ए बी ओके बिकॉज सी इट इज लिंक ए बी सो पॉइंट बी इज ऑन लिंक ए बी एज वेल एज इट इज ऑन पिस्टन बी बी इज द कॉमन पॉइंट बी इज द कॉमन पॉइंट ऑफ कनेक्टिंग रॉड ए बी एंड द पिस्टन सो नाउ आई विल यूज द फैक्ट दैट पॉइंट बी इज ऑन लिंक ए बी ओके सो लेट एस से पॉइंट बी पॉइंट बी इज ऑन लिंक ए बी ओके सो इफ आई हैव टू राइट डाउन द फॉर्मूला फॉर वेलोसिटी ऑफ पॉइंट बी I will see what is the radius of point B. From which point? From the ICR of link AB. So link AB ka ICR I hai, and from this point, point B ka distance is IB. Multiplied by angular velocity. Angular velocity of which link? Jo link pe point B hai, usi link ka angular velocity. So that is omega AB. Are you getting this formula? Yes, sir. Okay. So calculate this. So the value that I got is four point five eight seven meters per second. Is four point five eight seven five eight seven meters per second meters per second. So it is your answer. Okay. and uh, point b as you you can say that point b is the common point on connecting rod and piston you can say that piston velocity is equal to this okay so in this way you can refer number of problems on icr ladder ka problem rolling sphere problem which we will solve in the lectures of the next week okay but you try to solve it uh, even before that mechanics is as i told you that solving the as many numericals as possible any doubt in this icr method to be sure the question again yes always put your division and row number like b underscore 19 c underscore 20 like this in chat box for attendance purpose if you have any doubt you can ask or sir yes you can leave sir yes sir from which reference book we should practice more such numericals you can take any book see even in simple textbook which you purchase from the shop you will see very numericals in there methods you are learning here how to solve it okay and uh, uh, the same numericals are repeated in many books so you can take any even textbook you can also refer sir which one you will refer us for example uh you can actually i refer the that author book okay i will put it uh, put that name it's uh, some kuttapatti book is there 
साउथ इंडियन होता बट इफ यू नो द कॉन्सेप्ट ओके यू कैन टेक एनी बुक मेथड आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट हाउ टू सॉल्व इट हाउ टू अज्यूम द डेटा and for yes. reference you can take any book that uh, you can take any problem from any book and solve by our method yes sir uh, it's just geometrical relations nothing else only you you see only one formula is we are using velocity is equal to r into omega but what is the theory and concept behind this formula circular motion you must know then it becomes simple sir yes Sir, in next class we will take one more example, right? Uh, more, uh, we will take two or three more numericals on this topic. Okay. Sir. In uh, next week, in next week, we might get three lectures next week. Okay, sir. Okay. So we will solve ladder ka problem, roller ka problem, roller uh, cylinder is rolling like those problem. We will also solve. Sir, can you scroll down a bit? Yes. Sir, to the la last slide, which? Okay. Sir, can you again explain the last point? This? After let us consider point A to be only K B that point. Yeah, this one. Yeah, with the confusion or whatever. Yes, yes. Look, point A is here. Okay. Okay. So point A is on crank O A, as well as point A is also on. Connecting rod A B, it is a common point for both. Suppose if you consider point A to be on crank, so uh, information of crank will be applicable. Okay, crank ka I C R kya hai? Crank ka angular velocity kya hai? Uspe se ab velocity of point A you will calculate. If you assume that point A is on crank, is on crank O A, so आपको well point A का velocity calculate करने के लिए you know velocity is equal to r और omega radius लगता है और angular velocity लगता है. So if you are assuming A to be on O A, तो आपको यहाँ पे जो angular velocity लेना है वो O link O A का ही angular velocity लेना है. यहाँ पे आपको जो रेडियस लेना है पॉइंट ए का दिस रेडियस विल बी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू दस आई सी आर ऑफ लिंक ओ ए लिंक ओ ए का जो आई सी आर है उससे ही उसका पॉइंट ए का डिस्टेंस बनेगा रेडियस यहाँ पे गेटिंग इट एंड सपोज इफ यू कंसिडर ए पॉइंट ए इज ऑन लिंक ए बी तो लिंक ए बी का जो इंफॉर्मेशन है वो आपको यूज करना पड़ेगा ये फॉर्मूले में सो वाट इंफॉर्मेशन लिंक ए बी का दैट इज वट इज द एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ऑफ लिंक ए बी तो इट विल रिप्लेस ओमेगा ओ ए बाय ओमेगा ए बी देन वेर इज द आई सी आर ऑफ लिंक ए बी लिंक ए बी का आई सी आर यहाँ पे तो इस पॉइंट से पॉइंट ए का डिस्टेंस लेना पड़ेगा आपको रेडियस आई टू ए इफ यू कंसिडर पॉइंट ए टू बी ऑन लिंक ए बी Are you getting? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. So I will show you here. Okay. This is point A. Point A, and this is point B. and this is point o okay so point a is common on it is 
on link o a as well as on link ab okay so suppose uh, suppose o is the is icr icr for for link oa okay and b is icr for link ab sorry not b say i say i i is the icr for link ab abhi if you consider point a on link oa it is true point a is also on link oa so what will be the formula for velocity of point a it will be equal to oa radius multiplied by omega oa if you consider point a to be on link ab which is true okay then formula for point a will be i a into omega of ab getting it point a ka distance from center of rotation so for link o a center of rotation is o okay and for link ab center of rotation is i somewhere here understood sir okay so you can note down then we will stop it here thank you sir welcome anybody wants me to continue or i'm stopping sharing it i will give you this pdf on group thank you sir